but also clue related on this edition of the Houston Round Ball Review Takeover. KP missed Pulliam's last Thursday on the lunch break. He had not made it official yet, but two hours, or roughly an hour and change after the lunch break aired last Thursday, throughout the show, I said that five-star recruit from, oh, from Idaho, Mr. Isaiah Harwell, would, would announce at 2.05 p.m. Central Time mm-hmm. he was going to commit to the Kooks. Well, bam! At 2.05, roughly 2.08, 2.10, whatever, young Mr. Harwell made it official, and he announced his commitment to the Houston Cougars. He is the highest-rated recruit to sign with Coach Sampson. Heck, I think he's the highest-rated recruit to sign with the Cougs men's basketball program ever, you know, since they've been recruiting, keeping track of the five-star ratings, all that kind of stuff. But anyhow, salute to him, and I still have plans and hopes to interview him to get his Uh thoughts. I've already talked to his dad, so we're trying to make it work, so putting that in the universe as well, but he's 6'5", 6'6", 190, 195, 200. He can shoot. He's an elite shooter, and one comparison that I read last week, I'll mention to you, is Jamal Murray. Uh So, you hear that, what does that indicate to you as his his skill set, potential skill set? I mean, I think a, a versatile player, you know, somebody who who is comfortable with the ball in his hands, but also knows how to be impactful in the offense without the ball in his hands. Mm-hmm. You know, he's not he's not a ball watcher. He can still get into the flow and he, he's not just stuck standing and watching. And he's won for USA Basketball, so he's been in that pipeline. He's won gold medals there, so he can play, to your point, with better players, with the ball, without the ball. He's a winner. He likes to be coached tough. Mm -hmm. He likes to play defense. I mean, this is a Kelvin Sampson kind of player right here. (laughs) I mean, you know. But, KP, I want to say this. It was asked of me last Thursday by a viewer, mm-hmm. one young man, Shelton Henderson, is a Houston area product. Okay. Goes to Bel Air High School. Mm-hmm. So HISD product. His dream school is Duke. The last couple of weeks, Duke has kind of cooled on him and their recruitment of Shelton. Shelton, this past season, was was a finalist for the 2024 Gavi Lewis Award. Mm-hmm. Goes to the top boys high school player in Raider Houston. Shelton has visited the Cougs, you know, unofficial visits plenty of times. Apparently, the commitment of Mr. Harwell has how can I help me say this? Has um, intrigued, cooled? No, 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 cooled the Cougs' interest in young Mister Henderson. So, I'm not saying the door is shut on Shelton Henderson becoming a Coug because last week when I was asked, with Duke backing away from Shelton, did it improve the Cougs' chances of getting Shelton to come commit to the Cougs? I said, yes, it would make sense to me. Well, after that episode aired, basically as someone told me in the words of Mr. Lee Corso, not so fast, Chris Gardner. Don't necessarily think that that's going to improve his chances of coming, becoming a kook. And I was like, oh, all right. So as you, everyone watches this show, Like I said, the door is not shut on Shelton becoming a Coug. I'll just say, don't be surprised if he does sign elsewhere. And last week, and then and then transfer, then then transfers in. I'm just, you know, anything's possible. You know, he can go to Louisville, get the NIL money, 
realized, gee, this is not where I want to be. Um, after a year, I'm Coach homesick. Samson, Coach Samson, I'm I'm homesick, man. Can can you? I mean, can you make room for me? You make room for me next year, Coach. You know, I'm just saying, just putting it out there because there are other Cougs. Excuse me, official visits for the Cougs. I think even one this weekend for a prominent young man who's uh, a point guard, a true point guard. Shelton is like a jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's like 6'4, doesn't shoot well from the outside, doesn't really have a, a natural position in college. Mm. So, but he's talented, so you know, you can make it work. But I'm just but saying, can, but can you though? That's what I'm saying. So, there is some question about that with the Cougs it's about upgrading fit. the talent overall. Is there still a fit for him? In 2025 so i'm just putting it out there like i said i mean it was put to me not so fast chris so i'm so i had to take a step back and backtrack on my yeah. words there just a bit. I mean, it's it's it, like every year it's all about roster manipulation yes you know so don't shoot the messenger no i'm just i'm just telling you what i what i what i was told okay fan yeah, so like, who's transferring out who's going pro who's transferring in you know and what's it worth to you? And, and well put, because keep in mind, as a five-star player, Isaiah Harwell for the NBA draft class of 26 is one of the top shooting guards projected for that for that draft class. So Isaiah might be one and done. So if he's one and done, a spot might open up. Hey, Shelton, if we saw your name in the portal, yeah. Come on down, Shelton. Just saying. Just putting it out. That's that's you know, I'm just saying that right there. So and I'm not saying good. any any school would tamper per se, but even before a potential student athlete thinks about transferring, the network. Hey, of my people is, call your people right. this, this and is just business. put a little bug in your ear like yeah you know this is we'll make room for you yeah. and then all of a sudden somebody who wasn't initially in the portal yeah. hmm. I'm just saying you've you covered sports long enough to know you're a smart woman you, you know you know what's going on you know how things work 